thermostats. Just gonna be on this side. There's an easy access part point here. I'll take this bolt out. Easy. Look at see what these these look like and ooh. So this is a perfect example with these. I think these are six Charlie Baker uh, thermostats. Um, these are strictly for the short shaft VF 250s. You sh it doesn't look like he's been flushing much. Um, if you flush on the regular, every every time you use it, you won't have this rust. Uh, this rivet that holds the this little plate on the thermostat will always rust, and that's that's kind of like a sign of not flushing. So, uh, but then if you look inside this cavity, it looks pretty good. Oh, it doesn't look so bad, but it definitely uh, needs to be flushed more often. So I'll suggest to him to try to keep on that. But nevertheless, yeah, this definitely needs to be changed. Let me show you a fresh one. Six Charlie Baker thermostats. The brass looks nice and shiny, brand new. So these little plates will pop off over time. So this is a good time to catch it. Then hold them there for a second and then the cap on. And keep the cap, keep touching the cap because you don't want that thermostat to fall out or fall out of the seat. That's the easy side. So if we can move over to this side. this side they always have like a tie wrap holding it but it's a reusable tie wrap um, and it's got like a little tag on it where you can ooh, loosen that so what I'll do is I'll I won't take it off because it could be a pain in the butt to put back on so my little secret is is have it on but not tight but we'll loosen it up a bit ooh we're gonna have to replace this this broke so we're gonna have to uh, replace that one for sure. The tie rat that goes around that bar up there. So I'm just making some, some room here. So. It's real easy to drop these screws in here. So just finesse them out. And try not to drop them in there. So now this is where it gets kind of, oh good, it came out nice. Sometimes they get stuck in there and you have to fight it out of there. So I always grab like a pair of needle nose to reach in there and grab it because it seems like you'd be able to grab it. My fingers are a little too big, but if you got smaller fingers, you probably can grab it. But I usually grab it, a pair of needle nose, pretty tight, grab it out of there. So yeah, this, this is just not getting flushed. So not not a good situation, but that's something you really this is this is what leads to not flushing. Let's see if I can get it in there without dropping it. Finger holding it, and then what I'll do is I'll take that and just hold it in there, make sure it's seated nicely. Mm -hmm. 